Good morning, everybody. Today is August 11th. This is futuristic gardening. And uh, I think I need to change the name to like craptastic gardening or the worst garden guy ever or something, you know, a video like that. But anyways, I'm going to show you why we have yet another failure in the garden. So we do have some successes, but um, we have squash bugs, which I showed last week um, in the video really quick. I was out here yesterday collecting a bunch of squash bugs, and I guess what they do, those nasty little creatures, is they lay their eggs in the soil. So every year, no matter what we do, we keep getting the squash bugs destroying our crop. And so I'm gonna show you kind of what's happening here, and, um, and then, I'll probably not post this video today. I'll probably post it tomorrow because I need to go down and do some different things to treat these uh, plants. There is my wonderful pumpkin plant. It's completely dead. If you look closely, you will see some little squash bugs on there. They've killed it. The pumpkin is dead. No pumpkins this year for us. If you look right here, you can see eggs on the leaf there that's dead. Continuing our adventures with the squash bugs, you can see here this plant. This is the one I showed you last week, and there are actually squash bugs all over this thing. And we caught probably like a hundred yesterday, but you can see they're everywhere. See all over the bottom of the leaves there? There's eggs, there's new squash bugs, more eggs, more eggs. I mean, basically, any one of these leaves we flip over have squash bugs and eggs on them. So, um, this has been pretty much a nightmare. So now, I'm going to show you what we captured yesterday. And um, it's probably going to gross you out. You might want to cover your eyes if you don't like disgusting things. But anyways, here is a bucket full of squash bugs. See, this is our adventure from yesterday. There's squash bugs everywhere in here. So we got to get rid of these things. So moving on from our failures to our successes, you can see right behind me here, we've got our sunflower. It looks like it's about to become an actual flower. Here we've got the pepper plants. And you can see we actually have a pepper growing on there. So we may get peppers, finally. You can see the celery plants here. They're looking nice and healthy. Right there, you got the two celery plants. You can see on the watermelon plants, we have some beautiful little flowers growing on here. That's a good thing. Those should turn into watermelons. And if you look closely, you can see we've got several of these little watermelons like this growing on the vine. So hopefully we'll get some watermelon this year. And then you have our three tomato plants over here. They're all looking pretty good, but you can tell this one here is just doing awesome. And if you look closely, I think you've got some down here. Yeah, so you've got some down that, here that are, look like they may be good for picking. So let's uh, pick a couple of these. you got four cherry tomatoes that look like they are good to go. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time in the greenhouse today, but I do want to show you the peaches and the limes. Okay, so if you look at the peach tree here, you can see we have got large peaches everywhere and they are getting super close to being ready. So if you can see here next to my hand, that thing's about ready to go. You got a couple more up in here, down across over there. So we had lots of peaches. And if you look at the lime tree, this tree has just been so healthy despite the fact that it's just as crooked as can be, but you can see here, we've got brand new growth up here. And we can check in, we have at least two limes here. They're still growing, so we're really hoping these two limes will turn into actual limes that we can eat. The last thing we're gonna check on are the fruit trees. Okay, so you can see here, we've got the tape here to keep the birds away. And so far, we've been really, really blessed if you look our peaches are still growing unlike 
uh, the negative experiences that a lot of our neighbors are having. You can see a few nice clumps of peaches and I have gone through and removed a bunch of peaches where it got a little too crowded. Uh, today, we are going to go over a few ways to get rid of squash bugs. I have a plant that is covered in them. It's driving me crazy. Um, every year, they just wreak havoc on my garden and I'm sick of it. So, I am gonna go take care of these squash bugs. There's a couple different methods. The first one I'm gonna do is duct tape. The next uh, thing I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna mix dish soap with water and I'm gonna spray whatever I couldn't catch or see with the duct tape. The third thing we're gonna try is something they call DE. Diotomaceous earth, I think. I don't know, <laughs> I definitely said that wrong. Anyway, you can spread this around your plants, it's safe. So um, I can still eat the vegetables and they really don't like this stuff. Um, well, it kills them, but it's also uncomfortable for them to like walk on or crawl on or whatever. So we're gonna do the duct tape and then we are going to do the dish soap and then we're gonna do the DE. And if that doesn't get rid of all those bugs, I will burn the plant. I've got my brand new boots. Yep, shiny new boots. Got those ready to go. That means I'm official now. And behind me here, you're gonna see my wonderful little uh, zucchini plant. And it looks pretty good. Just by looking at it, you're thinking, oh, okay, there's probably nothing wrong with it, but I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you some things. Okay, so if you look closely, you'll see there's leaves that are dying. We start to wiggle around on here or lift up these leaves you'll see squash bugs crawling around on here. You can see that leaf right there. See all the eggs right there? It's covered in eggs. So I need to get rid of that leaf. Let's get this angle here and lift up the plant. You'll see the little buggers are everywhere. They're in the shadow of my arm, unfortunately. They can lift up my arm there, but they're everywhere. So we are gonna get the duct tape and try to catch a bunch of these things. Here you go, look at this. So you can see them all right there, crawling around, wreaking havoc. And we have a beautiful ladybug over here. Okay, so here we go with the duct tape method. And we're gonna start collecting bugs. There's bugs everywhere. Hi guys, how you doing? Thank you very much. Come with me. So, it seems to be working pretty good. It doesn't work as good on the big ones. You have to really squish them on there. Hopefully not damage the plant too much, but if you look on the duct tape, you can see it's working. There's probably more effective ways to do this. Overall, I'm gonna say that the duct tape is probably not the most effective way. Just so you know, catching them, we caught a whole bunch the other day. I'm just gonna show you really quick. A couple days later, look, they're still alive and well, unfortunately. Look at all those things, gross. So, as you can see, I just pulled this leaf off here. You can see those things, they get everywhere. And this leaf has a whole bunch of them on. You can see a huge black one in there too. And the eggs as well. But you can see they are ugly. Oh, he just peed on me. Okay, attack method number two. I have my water mixed with dish soap. We are going to spray this plant now. And supposedly this is supposed to work pretty fast and not hurt the plant. Obviously that's what we don't want to do. So here we go. underneath this whole thing. Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to the party. I'm gonna spray on the whole ground and everything because they are actually crawling all over the ground. They are everywhere. There's like literally hundreds of these things in here. I'm 
I'm not worried about going after the eggs today. I don't have time to scrape off the eggs. But I figure if I come out here in a couple days again and spray, that should take care of uh, anything new that's hatched. And once again, they are all over the ground, so I'm spraying the ground all around this plant as well. Uh, they seem to be scurrying, so hopefully that means it's working. Ready? Attack view. Attack view number two. I can see some up on the leaves right there, so here we go. It's right there, he got him. Okay, well, hopefully that works. It's Tuesday now. Yesterday, uh, we sprayed the squash bugs with the uh, dish soap. So we're gonna check to see if that works. We're also gonna put on the DE and um, see if that works. My guess is this plant will not live a week if we don't get these squash bugs under control. So we'll continue with this experiment and uh, keep you all posted on how it's working. Hopefully it works so you can take care of your squash bugs too. Here's our precious plant. We're gonna go check it out. There's some eggs there. There's more eggs here. But I am not. Oh, there they are. It says a couple squash bugs down here. So have at least a few survivors. Not seeing a ton of squash bugs. There's definitely some in there. It's early in the morning, so they still might be sleeping or something, because I can see, you know, there's a guy over here. I'm guessing on this dead leaf over here that there's gonna be a bunch of them. It's usually where they're hanging out. So yeah, you can see there's a, a several over here as well. So my thought is, um, it actually worked. We're about 20 hours after I sprayed it. Um, I'm seeing a lot less squash bugs on here. We're still gonna put the DE around the base of the plant um, and hopefully that gets the rest of them. I'm also gonna spray some more just to see if we can get those last few that are running around causing trouble. All right, we got it, I popped it open. Now we're just gonna sprinkle this around the base of this plant. This won't hurt the plant, but I don't want to hurt things like bees that might fly into the flowers. And as I lift this up, I'm looking on the ground and I can actually see there's several of these creatures on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna hit all the other plants really quick uh, with this as well. I think that's probably pretty good on this plant. Just to be certain is I'm gonna go ahead and lift up and spray the underside of the leaves with this stuff. I can see some hanging out right in here, so. Just spray in there and get them all, especially around these dead leaves. I always see them hanging out on these dead leaves. Where there's a dead leaf, there's usually going to be squash bugs. Got all the squash bugs hanging under there. So there's definitely still a large population of squash bugs on this beautiful little plant. Okay, it's Wednesday now. I'm back out in the yard again to attack these squash bugs. And I am telling you that if I can't win this battle, I am gonna burn this bush to the ground with the squash bugs on it. But in the meantime, I'm gonna to continue to attack it on a daily basis. I've got my DE, I'm not even gonna try to say the word, and I have my spray. So let's uh, take a look at the bush really quick and see what type of problems we have today. Let's just zoom in on these dead leaves first because usually 
those things are gonna be hanging around these dead leaves. Oh yeah, you can see. see that? They don't like people either. They probably don't like me because I've been attacking them the last few days, but apparently you can see I've got the powder all around the plants, but it's not doing the job. So we'll just keep trying. So we got the dish soap mixed with water and we're just gonna attack the bush again today. Try to spray it right on these guys. Oh, there's one right there. Hi, buddy. He dropped right off when I sprayed him. So, another one right here. Little babies. When babies are born, I'm just gonna continue to spray the bottom of these leaves. Oh, there's a whole bunch of little babies right here. Oh, and a daddy and a mommy right there. Big one right there. I'm just gonna soak that guy. They don't seem to like it when I sprayed on them, but it also doesn't really seem to be killing them. So, got a couple of problems, I guess. Oh man, there's so much right here. We're just gonna soak them. They are, I'm just soaking this bush here. You hear people say try all these different tricks, but I gotta be honest, so far, these tricks don't really seem to be working. I'm not really seeing a reduction in, in squash bugs. So, this plant may be on the verge of getting burnt to the ground. I'm gonna do an experiment today. I'm gonna to spray this all over inside this bucket. These creatures have been living in here for like almost a week now and they're all still alive. So I'm gonna spray this all over inside there and I'm gonna see if they actually die. So here we go. Okay, so you can see all those little turkeys in there, so disgusting. I'm gonna give you guys a first player perspective. See, they don't seem to love it. So tomorrow, we'll look inside this bucket and see if these guys are all still alive. Also, just checking things out inside the greenhouse, you can see here, we've got these like nice juicy peaches that look like they're really close to being done. And I just noticed something this morning. A whole bunch of them have fallen off and are on the ground. Okay, today's Thursday, August 15th. Checking in on the squash bugs again. If you remember yesterday, I sprayed a bunch of the soap water inside of the um, container that had all the squash bugs in it. So we're gonna open that bucket up really quick and check that out. It looks like there's still a lot of them in there, but it doesn't seem like it's many, so maybe it did kill some of them. Or maybe they're just sleeping. As far as the plant goes, this is what we're looking at this morning. You see, got some right there. We got eggs and more eggs over here. You can see there's squash bugs just chilling under these leaves. So I don't know if it's working or not. So here we go. Also scrape off some of these eggs real quick. But for the first time, we actually have a fruit going on here. So the real trick now is, can we keep this plant alive long enough to allow that to grow and mature? Okay, so we're out here with this plant. And if you come down here, you can see all these leaves are dying. That means the squash bugs are winning. Um, so. Um, I brought my knife out here. I'm gonna scrape all the eggs off of it and then I'm gonna go ahead and use my spray here afterwards. But I'm guessing this plant probably isn't gonna make it at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna scrape some of the eggs off, but I'm also gonna catch um, squash bugs because I know there's a whole bunch on here. So um, let's, let's, we'll flip over this leaf here. Oh, I saw a squash bug jump off already. Look, there's one right there. There's a couple of them. See that? I'm gonna catch a couple of these guys. Right here, we can see some eggs. So I'm gonna take the knife right here. 
we're gonna just scrape those eggs off the leaf. We'll never win if we don't scrape these eggs off. You see squash bugs just actually just jumping off. Well, that's not a squash bug. I don't know what kind of bug that is. But once again, if you look right here, we got eggs. So we just need to squash, squash those eggs off there. Let's see if we can see a whole bunch of eggs somewhere. Oh, there's a couple more squash bugs. So we're gonna get these guys in here. And then let's get these eggs off of here. There's eggs everywhere, I mean. I had decided I will never win the battle if I don't remove the squash bug eggs. So now I've got my spray here. Once again, this is dish soap mixed with water. And I'm just gonna spray the whole plant down again and hopefully um, this is working. But once again, if you look down at this bush here, you can see, if you look down at this bush here, you can see it's dying. So this is probably gonna die and I'm guessing this one won't be far behind. But let's just spray everything to make sure. Okay, so I'm out in the garden again today. We're talking about squash bugs still. And uh, I apologize, I slacked yesterday, but I wanna show you guys a couple things that have happened here. So let's go zoom down in on the plants really quick. Well, there's a couple things happening here. That side of the plant is dead. The squash bugs have won. Over here, it's still looking good. Um, and so it leaves me with a little bit of a dilemma. Do I burn the whole thing up or do I just keep trying, keep fighting it? Because it's gonna be tough to win now. And I'd say the only reason I wanna keep fighting to win is if you look right here, we've got a zucchini growing. And so I think as long as we have a zucchini there, I'm gonna keep fighting to save this plant. I've got my DE. I'm gonna actually put a little bit more of this powder around. I also have my spray. This is once again dish soap and water. And we're just gonna search. And there's a big squash bug right there. You know what we're gonna do? I think we're just gonna catch this guy. You can see here. Ah, stupid squash bug. Okay, we've actually got several squash bugs on this plant, so I'm gonna capture a couple of them, I think, real quick. Ooh, look at this. So we got a leaf right here. It's a dead leaf, but if you look really closely on there, you can see a bunch of squash bug eggs on there. So we can get rid of this as well. Unfortunately, there's squash bugs everywhere underneath here. I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. It's a very painful process trying to get rid of squash bugs. I'm just gonna spray. The good news is there's not a lot of eggs. I'm not seeing very many eggs down here at all. So I think it probably helped to get rid of, uh, to scrape off all the eggs the other day. And then the last thing we're gonna check is inside the ice cream bucket where I sprayed the dish soap and water mixture just the other day. It looks like it didn't work. I'm starting to think that the dish soap and the water mixture is a hoax. Good morning, everybody. Today is Sunday, August 18th and I continue my war on the squash bugs. Today is day seven, so last Monday was day one, and I had an epiphany. I'm gonna change the name of my YouTube channel from Futuristic Gardening to probably Adventures in Gardening, and the reason being is that there's nothing futuristic about what I'm doing. Uh, you know, my wallapini or my underground greenhouse, while it's a lot different than what the Native Americans did hundreds of years ago, um, still a hundred years ago they were doing wallapinis. So there's nothing futuristic about that. And what I've discovered is I'm having a lot of adventures out here, um, a lot of failures and also a lot of successes. And so anyways, I thought adventures in gardening is probably a lot 
more appropriate for what I'm doing. Hopefully, someone doesn't already have a YouTube channel called Adventures in Gardening. So, anyways, we'll find out. But I'm gonna flip this camera around. We are gonna go check out the garden and pray that our zucchini is still alive. And um, we'll check out the greenhouse today. I apologize. This is going to be by far my longest video on gardening. But, you know, hopefully you're enjoying this experiment. I'll continue to update you on my zucchini plant. Or is it a cucumber? I don't even know. I don't remember. I planted them both. I don't remember what's still alive. Anyways, I'll continue to update you guys on that vegetable. And we are going to do everything in our power to save the life of that little vegetable. Hopefully we don't end up having to burn that bush to the ground. Okay, so I think we're gonna start in the underground greenhouse and see what's going on there. If you remember, we have some awesome peaches growing down here. Okay, we're gonna start with my crooked little lime tree here. You can see that lime seems to still be growing and looking good, I'm gonna be very gentle with that. And then we've got another lime right here. It's a little bit smaller, but it looks like it's still growing. You can see we've got some peaches that are probably ready. As a matter of fact, I think today I'm gonna take that one right there and give it a try. But you can see right here also, that one's looking pretty good. So we've got a lot of peaches looking really good. Unfortunately, we have so many casualties again. I don't know why they're all falling off. Because this particular video is so long, I'm not going to update on the rest of the trees in the greenhouse. Let's go look at the plants in the garden. Okay, you can see the strawberry plants are getting nice and big. And then if you come over here, we've got a huge watermelon. Well, huge probably isn't the word, but you know, compared to my hand, it's bigger than a softball. And we've got a couple of these little watermelons growing in here. So it looks like we may get some watermelons this year. And then you come over and you see the celery plants, they're still growing. And then the pepper plants, and if you look at these pepper plants, you're gonna see we've got a couple of peppers growing on here. So it looks like we may have some successes here as well. Carrots and rhubarb are looking good. And of course, you got the three tomato plants over here and they're all looking really good. As a matter of fact, we could probably come out here later today again and grab a few more tomatoes. But you can see there's probably well over 100 tomatoes growing on this little plant. And then for our sunflower is looking awesome. I don't know if we're getting any seeds quite yet. Okay, and before we do an update on that final plant and the war against squash bugs, I wanna show you the peach tree that is out in the yard. So by looking at this tree, you can see we've got a bunch of peaches that are ready to go. We will probably come out here today and take some of these peaches and eat them. Now, the update on our zucchini or cucumber plant or whatever for the battle of the squash bugs. As I noted earlier, the one side of this plant is completely dead, which scares me for the survival of this plant, which is somehow still looking good. As a matter of fact, this little vegetable here is growing. So it gives me hopes that all my hard work will be worth it. Okay, so I think the best thing to do at this point is to catch as many squash bugs as I can. So I got my jar here. And then if I see any eggs, I'll scrape them off with the knife. And then of course, I'll continue the joke of spraying the leaves or the bugs, I guess, with soapy water, so let's get going. I'm not seeing a bunch of eggs, which is a good thing. It's my plan of scraping the eggs away has been working. If you look at this plant, you can see some nice big healthy green leaves here. You can see these ones are dying around the edges. Those are the squash bugs. And then down here, you see a bunch of kind of dead stuff. I think I'm gonna take my knife and just cut off that dead stuff because I feel like that's what the squash bugs like to hang out in. I've got to be honest with you. I've been scouring this plant for a few minutes now and I am not seeing very many squash bugs. There's definitely some little ones down inside and I've got a couple here in this little jar, but there's definitely been a serious reduction in squash bugs. Um, that being said, 
I have a fun ending to a portion of this experiment. This dead bush over here, I feel like is going to hurt the living one. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, the, the one that's looking good here, and I am gonna burn this section because I've seen a few squash bugs in here. There's, pro there's probably eggs and some little ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and burn this one today. And this one, we are going to see if we can help it survive. So as an investor, I've learned that sometimes you need to cut your losses to get gains. So I've actually sliced the plant away from the base of the other plant. We've got our matches here and the Coleman lighter fluid. I'm gonna spray the healthy plant um, for a couple reasons. I wanna spray it anyways, but also to um, keep it moist so the heat from the fire doesn't hurt it. I put up a wall here as well that will hopefully also help keep the heat away from the healthy plant. Okay, then next we're gonna pour on the Coleman lighter fluid and then strike a match. Here we go. All right, for all you kids out there, please do not try this at home. That should be the trick. The reason we're doing this now is there's eggs in here and a bunch of tiny little squash bugs crawling around in there. So the hope is that by burning this, I'm also getting rid of all the squash bugs that are living in this plant. So I feel like by destroying this plant, it gives this plant a better chance to survive. Really, I wanna make sure all the leaves in here are burning. So um, the eggs that are on there will also burn. Well, that's it for this week's show. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will make you feel good.